Hi everybody, it's Dr. Wendy O'Connor and uh, I usually do Dr. Wendy and Wednesdays or Wednesdays with Dr. Wendy. So I am just wondering why this lady is looking at me as I'm talking to you. There's someone on the street that is staring at me or the corner. I'm so curious what she's looking at. I don't know. Anyway, little ADD world. Um, so, I, as you know, you may know or you may not know, uh, I'm going to be having a birthday soon in a few days and I'm excited because every year I think it's a new opportunity to grow. Some people say, oh, that's not true, but really I do feel that way. I grew up really watching um, my parents, especially my father, think that age is beautiful and you've earned all the wrinkles and celebrate all the good times. My dad was like Mr. Positive all growing up and he still is to this day, 85 years young. So um, today I just want to talk a little bit about some new things that I'm doing. I have recently, me and my sister, we've become vegan which is really crazy because I used to say things like, oh, you know, silly things because I just didn't understand it. So, you know, like, oh, people are crunchy granola and they're earth loving and, you know, tree hugging and, um, you know, sometimes we make fun of or tease or kind of say things that we don't understand. But now I'm doing this new way of life, whether it's just for a short period of time or we'll see what happens, but it's changed my life. Really, it's not talking about me today. I wanted to talk about really challenging you in life to do new things and just explore, uh, you know, things that can bring you joy on another level. And this definitely has. So I've been watching this Instagram girl and then she led me to a doctor that I was looking at his YouTube account and then I did some research and then I shared it with my sister and now we're kind of both supporting each other and trying this new thing. But what I also found out about being a new vegan is that there is a lot of mindfulness tools and techniques along with really being more conscious of the world and of animals and our bodies and health and especially intuitive eating. Um, again, I would watch these mindfulness techniques or a lot of people even specialize in intuitive eating and I would not really understand it or I would say yeah, 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 but I think it just happens naturally along with this kind of new vegan thing that I'm trying and it really is true to be mindful about what we're eating what we're taking in but also how we're doing it and I think that kind of goes in life it kind of parallels what we're doing with our friends with our family with our loved ones um, I always feel like I can grow and learn from everyone so this mindfulness or intuitive eating is also making me think a little bit about intuition. You know, um, sometimes we say women's intuition, but really everyone has a gut feeling and it just depends if you listen to it or not. So often we'll go through life and, uh, you know, things will happen either passively or proactively. But honestly, when we make an intention and bring intuition into it and really listen to our gut feeling, um, it just takes you on another level and it makes you think more about being grateful for life and what we're doing in this world and and what we want to be doing you know where your energy uh, can go and I know that when people struggle with anxiety or depression it's so important to get out of your head and that's some of the biggest uh, hardest challenges is to kind of get going even if you don't want to but when we think about all the things in life that there 
there, there's so much pain in the world and suffering and you know anything that you're interested in I'm such an advocate of volunteering so for some people um, you know uh, it's writing a check and they can donate a lot of money or even you know a few dollars here or there to a good cause and then there's um, you know people who want to do hands-on um, so like my son does uh, animals and he loves to uh, volunteer at a shelter for our kitties and uh, puppies so we did that and out of that we adopted a little kitten you might see stardust on my Instagram at I am dr. Wendy and you know that was another thing I judged I always said oh you know cat people and cat ladies and all this and I was also allergic and then one day it ended up you know that uh, stardust is his name came in my path and now I have a beautiful little kitten and I can't believe how much joy and love he has brought our family and and also just incredible for your soul so whether it's a puppy or a dog or even a little fish it doesn't really matter but again it's called following the breadcrumbs in life so just wanted to say that there are always ways to try new things to feel better in life. It's not always easy, but when you do it, any action again is more important than no action. So I'm Dr. Wendy and look out for Wednesdays with Dr. Wendy every Wednesday. We're going to be putting up a new video and this is just a hello to everyone. I'm going to try to get more uh, vlogging videos up just because a lot of people are asking me to talk about um, love life relationships and it's not therapy it's um, you know just about what works for me and possibly sharing a little bit of information that could help you have a happier more meaningful and purposeful life hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon and stay open <laughs>